Well, I guess it makes sense for me to start. Um, I think the first really life-changing book for me outside the Bible is a book that was given to me when I was in my mid-20s. Um, and it's this book, God is the Gospel by John Piper. And it was given to me by a pastor, mentor, friend. And uh, it was really just a profound idea that I had never been taught or never heard of before. The idea that if God is really the greatest uh, imaginable being in all the universe, then uh, for him to give us the greatest gift would not be uh, just giving us salvation or forgiveness or uh, eternal life, but would actually be uh, him giving us himself and salvation, eternal life, forgiveness. Those are a part of that. But what God is actually doing in the gospel is he's giving us the gift of relationship with himself. Um, and that was just such a brand new um, really profound idea to me at the time. Uh, next book would be Praying the Bible by Don Whitney. Um, not a very big book and a pretty easy to read book. Um, a really, really simple idea. Uh, the idea of praying God's word back to him. Uh, if you are at all dissatisfied with your prayer life, if you find yourself praying the same things over and over again, and you want something more out of your prayer life, then I would really recommend uh, picking up this book and reading through it. Uh, really, really helped me in my prayer life. Next uh, would be this book, Worship Matters by Bob Coughlin. Uh, Bob Coughlin uh, is a, a great worship leader, a great songwriter. And uh, you know, a lot of times we use the word worship and what we really mean is music and uh, living a life of worship is much more than uh, just music. Uh, being a worship leader is much more than being a musician or a singer. And uh, really getting at, to the heart of what a life of worship is like. Um, I found this book uh, to be really helpful for worship leaders, for pastors interacting with their worship leaders, and um, also just for worshipers. And uh, I hope you find yourself in one of those categories, at least a worshiper. Um, and uh, just a really great book to um, change your perspective on worship and, and leading a life of worship. Next book is On Thinking the Human, Resolutions of Difficult Notions by Robert Jensen. Uh, Robert Jensen is just a really brilliant thinker. And uh, it, this is the smallest book in this uh, list, in this stack but it's probably the hardest one to read. Um, but just the idea of um, theology really interacting with philosophy and um, tackling life's really difficult uh, questions, uh, thinking about what it actually means to be human and uh, some of the uh, hard questions that we wrestle with. And um, just a reminder of how uh, theologians uh, really still need to be able to engage with uh, even secular philosophy, um, with the, the world's thinkers, and uh, be able to answer some of the same questions that they're trying to answer as well. Uh, pretty deep reading, uh, but also uh, very eye-opening and uh, very enjoyable as well. Lastly, I would say this book, uh, Sacred Marriage by Gary Thomas, uh, just a Probably my favorite book uh, for marriages. Uh, it says here on the cover, what if God designed marriage to make us holy more than to make us happy? Um, really just a countercultural idea of what marriage is and what it should be. So many of us are looking for the one who's going to complete us and make us happy forever. And uh, to take a look at um, the fact that God never really intended that to be um, our, our pursuit in marriage, but uh, if we were to look at it more as a means of sanctification in uh, a way of uh, becoming more Christ-like would really change our expectations of marriage and I think the results of a lot of our marriages as well. So uh, those are my five, five life-changing books outside of the Bible. Um, I hope you find some time to maybe pick up one of those and take a look at it and uh, take care. Happy reading.